A veteran roster, a new energetic coaching staff, and a big-time schedule has Boise State excited for the upcoming football season as it chases its fifth straight first in a Mountain West championship game. Hi, I'm Jesse Kurtz in the Mountain West Network studio here with what you need to know as we count down to kickoff with the Boise State Broncos. Andy Avalos is back in Boise as the new head coach of the Broncos. The former all-conference linebacker and defensive coordinator returns to the Treasure Valley after spending two seasons at the University of Oregon. Avalos, who is a longtime fan favorite in Boise, personifies what it means to bleed blue and is honored to have a chance to lead his alma mater. There's definitely been some things like, oh yeah, I'm a head coach now, I'm not a just coordinator anymore. There have definitely been some of those moments, but uh, we've been very blessed to have um, the opportunity to, to help the program grow in certain areas. He's a guy that really cares about us as people before players and we focus on building our foundation as young men because we know that you know football right now is a big part of who we are but at the same time it's a small part of our life there's a lot more things going on so building that foundation as young men so that when we play football we can focus on that. The Broncos will have one of the most exciting offensive weapons in the country in Khalil Shakir. The senior wide receiver made a team high 52 catches a year ago and topped 100 yards receiving in four of seven games. Shakir, who has earned preseason All-America honors, was one of only two players in the country in 2020 with 700 yards receiving and 100 yards rushing. For my coaches to have that trust in me, um, to do you know those multiple things, you know, for them to think that I can handle it and go out there and operate at the level that they expect to see it, you know, be operated at, um, it's a blessing, you know, for me. And um, the trust they put into me, you know, only, you know, makes me want to work harder to go out there and you know perform how I can perform. He is talented and he's got an extremely high football IQ, so he's able to handle a lot of stuff and not slow him down. And he is an unbelievable competitor. And the best part about him is um, his humility. He is he's a leader that not only leads and has high expectations for himself, but he brings other people along with him. Senior nickelback Kekala Kaniho returns as a playmaking machine, having played in 48 college football games in his stellar career, including 34 starts. Kaniho has earned all Mountain West honors twice in his decorated career, collecting 165 tackles, five sacks, and five interceptions. A finalist for the 2020 William B. Campbell Trophy and a senior class award candidate, Kaniho is the unquestioned leader of the Boise State defense. When you come out of high school primarily playing one position and then, you know, I get here and get thrown into the safety and nickel spot where I'm, you know, having to play against the run, play against the pass, and now I'm talking to linebackers, not just corners, you know, and sometimes I'm talking to the defensive linemen. So being able to understand the entire defense is something that I've, you know, grown and still continue to, you know, strive for to have a better understanding of those things. He models what the standard is. But on top of that, he brings people with. He'd be the first one to help somebody out. Both these guys would. But Kyler would be the first one to help somebody out whenever they needed it. Um, and I think that's why the players respect him. Um, because not only how he handles his business, but then the humility he does it with and how he stays hungry as well. Boise State is set to tackle one of the most challenging schedules in program history, which includes a season opening visit to Orlando to tangle with UCF and a highly anticipated visit from Oklahoma State, who will battle the Broncos on the blue on September 18th in just the second ever meeting between the two programs. There. A really, really, really good team. I mean, we played them two years ago down there in their place, and it was rowdy, loud, and you know, just a crazy environment. You know, and they're coming in our place, and we expect to be the same way. We want to play the best people, and you know, have the best opportunity to win those big time games. So having them come to the Blue and get our home crowd and get that energy going is going to be great. There's a lot of optimism for Boise State this season, and I think the biggest reason is the Broncos have weapons back on offense. 
Last year they were depleted at running back and didn't get a lot of production at wide receiver from anyone other than Shakir. They've got an offensive line that returns four out of five starters and a quarterback battle between Bachmeyer and Sears that I think is going to make the winner even stronger. Defensively, nine starters return with a lot of experience and a lot of depth as well. Depth is one of the reasons I think Boise State wins the Mountain Division. And when you look at the schedule, three tough out-of-conference games, if they can traverse it and win the Mountain West, should position themselves for a New Year Six Bowl. And why not? A new coach. Boise State, every time they turn a coach over, seems to go to the Fiesta Bowl. Broncos look tough in 2021. Boise State opens up the 2021 season at UCF on Thursday, September 2nd. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Jesse Kurtz.